Weaver Fertilization Plant continues to pour in this hour and it is burning lots of smoke pouring from that area. This is an aerial footage video captured of the blaze that happened yesterday and crews say since then there hasn't been much improvement. Leaders are still encouraging anyone who lives within one mile of the plant to evacuate and today Governor Roy Cooper will be at a briefing and he's going to be talking with local officials about the situation. We expect to hear from him in about an hour. We have team coverage this afternoon. We start with meteorologist Michelle Kennedy. Michelle, air quality seems to have gotten worse out there. Yeah, especially for some parts of the county in the southwestern areas. We've reached the cold purple. We don't usually do this unless we have a disaster on our hands like what we've got going on now. Unhealthy air for all people. This means in parts of Forsyth County, particularly around Clemens Middle School, which is where the air quality monitor is right now. Clemens Middle School area through Hobby Park. We're talking about southwestern sections of Winston-Salem and really those areas where you're seeing the thicker smoke and the particulate matter. We've got exposure to high levels that may irritate lungs, respiratory tracts and hearts. Of course, folks who have those types of conditions, asthma or heart conditions, this is a big deal for us. Very unhealthy for some today, especially the southwestern areas of Forsyth County, and this may continue until we begin to see the winds lift. Now for tomorrow, overall, the county particulate matter expected to be in that sensitive group category. Folks who might be typically more impacted by this would be folks who have asthma or other underlying health issues and you would be in those sensitive categories and you'd want to limit your outdoor exposure. What this means for us today is very unhealthy for all residents in that southwestern zone of Precise County and this means that we want to stay out or avoid getting outdoors for any length of time. Remember your pets too. bring your pets inside. This is going to be particularly harmful for them as well because they're smaller creatures, of course, and air quality is an impact for a lot of folks. We still have that east northeasterly flow and until we can pick up a south wind to southwest, parts of the county are going to be more harm than others, and eventually that'll lift out to the north and east. The good news is we do have a chance for some showers out there, and that increase in rainfall will help us overall with air quality. Talitha? So much, Michelle, and our team coverage continues right now with Rachel Ellis. She's right outside of the evacuation zone, and Rachel, what's it looking like there right now? What's the latest developments? A good afternoon to you. While the amount of smoke coming out of the Weaver fertilizer plant appears to be much less than it was this time just yesterday, but it does appear to be building as temperatures continue to rise uh, this morning. It was a little bit more low lying as temperatures were much cooler during the early hours of this morning. But what we know right now is that there is still a risk of explosion and air quality concerns are still in the picture and the status of the fire didn't change overnight. Division Chief Bobby Wade with the Winston Salem Fire Department shared this information during this morning's press conference and at that hour he said conditions were still unsafe for firefighters to physically be fighting the fire at the site and the scene was still being observed from the sky using drones and other air monitoring and in terms of operations right now we're told there are three strike teams and a ladder company assigned to what he called the hot zone and there's also one extra engine company to help with staffing and any other possible incidents that could occur across the city. So we're rotating, keeping everybody fresh, um, and you know we've trained and and to respond to incidents like that. We have special teams. We've we've had a lot of help from our partners uh, in all emergency service and a lot of outside organizations has helped us through this, and we really appreciate everybody's help in responding to this uh, incident. And when we heard from Wade this morning, there was still an active fire or still is, but he could not confirm what specifically was burning. And at this point, we still don't know uh, when people who live within that one mile radius of the evacuation zone will be able to return to their homes. It was initially said that that would be 48 hours, but it looks like here it could be uh, longer than that. And it's also still unclear as to when firefighters will actually able to physically fight this fire as they had to pull back uh, over a day ago now. But we're hoping to get some of those questions answered during a press conference. Uh, in just about an hour here with Governor Roy Cooper, so we'll make sure to update you uh, both on air and online. We're live this afternoon in Winston-Salem. Rachel Ellis, WXII 12 News.
Great perspective there. Thank you so much, Rachel. Take a look at your screen right now. We want to remind you that this is the area surrounding the fire. People who live within this bubble are urged to evacuate. It includes sections of North Cherry Street, Germanton Road, North Point Boulevard and University Parkway. There is not a mandatory evacuation order in place, but the fire chief says it is unsafe for anyone to be within this area. And during this time, there are so many volunteers stepping up to help people who need to ev evacuate. Jackie Pascal is live right now with how the Red Cross is helping out. Jackie. Yeah, I'm here at the Education Building at the for, uh, the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds, and the story here is really of generosity. Like you were just saying, those volunteers at the Red Cross, they are working 24 hours a day, manning this building, making sure that there are those resource, resources on hand, and they say they are prepared to stay. Uh, the executive director for the Piedmont Triad region of the Red Cross, he says they're prepared to stay through Friday or even longer if necessary. But I will say there aren't a ton of people that have been utilizing this space since that evacuation went in on Monday night. But with that timeline potentially extending of when people can get back into their homes, this space might start filling up. And hey, they are ready for it. They have cots, they have snacks. Meals are being donated by Second Harvest Food Bank and Food Lion. They got a big delivery of water from Walmart yesterday. Plus, they say a lot of businesses local here are just donating masks, sanitizer, even blankets. Even individuals are pitching in. A group of people actually came in last night. They put up a handful of large families in hotels for the night. They say they are prepared to do that again tonight if necessary. We have just seen very uh, generous community uh, businesses and individuals helping out and uh, that's that says a lot about the giving nature of this community. And again, they are prepared to take in more people tonight here at the Education Building at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds. They do have a schedule also set up for Friday, tentatively if needed. Uh, the executive director is saying it's easier to call people out than to call people in. So he is prepared to continue providing these services for folks. Also, one more note for you, the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office is also providing supplies for animals. If you are only prepared to stay out of your home for 48 hours, you need more food or water, or maybe just shelter for your pet, they have that here as well. Live in Winston-Salem, Jackie Pass. To be at 12 News. Great info. Thank you so much, Jackie. And we are hearing from the company that owns the plant. A representative released a statement about the fire, saying that they are grateful for the support of officials and volunteers. The statement also says that the company is fully cooperating with the investigation into the cause of the fire. Wake Forest University has canceled all classes again today. School leaders say more than a thousand students and staff are living in the evacuation zone. In addition to Wake, North Hills Elementary will be remote through tomorrow. And the Winston-Salem Forsyth County School District says that its education building located on Bethania Station Road is going to be open to students who need help with remote learning or even child care. North Hills staff will be there to help and also lead the lessons and students will be given breakfast and lunch there as well. The school district says school buses will be able to pick up students at their normal stops and take them to the education building and then drop them back off. But an important note, this is not for students outside of the zone that we're talking about. This is only for students who live inside that one mile radius zone where residents are being asked to evacuate. And we've been warning of the dangers associated with the fire because of ammonium nitrate, a chemical stored at the plant. Experts say that it does not readily burn, but an acceler it can be um, considered combustible material. It is odorless and is also used to make explosives, matches, and fertilizers. The hazmat team leader at the time at the site of the Winston Sound location says that this substance will not cause significant bodily harm. He says it's more of an irritant that may burn your eyes, cause you to cough or even sneeze, or give you a rash if it gets onto your skin. We continue to follow any developments from this fertilizer fire. Coverage continues during the next half hour. And a reminder, you can get the latest information, even when we're not on the air, on our website, WXII12.com.